In today's Living with an E36 M3 episode, proudly sponsored by BOTB, I've got Colin, my E36 M3, and I've brought him down to Surrey Rolling Road. And Mr. Charlie, who owns Surrey Rolling Road, is going to chuck him on the dyno. And we're going to see how many of the original 317 brake horsepower is going to be left in the car. Um, so, Charlie, what's your estimation? Because you own one of these. You yeah, think the engine's pretty good. You've given it a quick rev. The Vanos is fairly happy. Yep. What do you think Colin is going to be producing? Well, a really, really good one of these will do, still do the 317. Okay. But it is very rare. Very rare. Um, a exceedingly bad one of these yeah. will do about 250. Damn. Usually when the cats are blocked yeah. and the airflow meters fail. Yeah. Um, which neither of these would seem apparent on yours from first inspection. Uh, so an average one will do 300. Yeah. Um, and I would expect anywhere from 290 to 300. Give me a figure, give me a figure. Car. It's going to do 296. 296. I'm going to I'm going to be a little bit more hopeful and I'm going to say 311 brake horsepower. Ethan, what do you reckon? 306. 306. Okay. Whoever gets closer gets bought beers. I Deal? like that. Let's do this. It's not doing it, I'm afraid. It's not, not at all. I'm 37 horsepower down. Where have they all gone? It's difficult to say. The airflow meter is perfect. Yeah. Fueling is perfect. Yeah. It's And the torque is getting on for what these usually do. Yeah. So whatever it is, it's top end. Okay. So it's over sort of 5,000. Yeah. Uh, it's making 264 foot pounds. Okay. Which is not far off what these did anyway. Yeah. Um, so the low end's good, the Vanos is fine. Yeah. But the top end's just a little bit restricted. How do I fix it? I would say, uh, has it had the valve clearances done? No. So it hasn't had an inspection too? No, no, I don't think so. Not, not in my time anyway. It'll be the valve clearances. Yeah? Yeah. So maybe if I get the valve clearances done, a nicer freer flowing exhaust, we'd be up to that kind of... Yeah. Generally what you find with these is if the valve clearances are not done, yeah. then everything tightens up okay. and you get uh, flow restrictions at the top end. Yeah. So you tend to get a good low end, mm -hmm. but the top, it just, you can see the curve here. Yeah. It just sort of flattens out. Yeah. And really these, these, sort of, these want to pull all the way up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, so this is, it's making peak power at sort of six, five, six, eight, and they usually make peak power at sort of seven, two. Damn. So I think probably valve clearances. So valve clearance is going to get those sorted, going to get a nice exhaust, maybe a fruity exhaust on. Maybe can I bring it back and then we'll of course have a you look? Can. And then well, we're going to hit that 317. And if not... Well, oh. three, 300 would be a nice starting three, point. Yeah, true. <laughs> who, who, who gets the point? Who gets the point? Charlie, I said, Charlie I get the point. Oh. Because I'm the dyno operator. Oh, okay. You were the furthest away. I was the furthest away. Yeah. I'm going to buy you three British pints. Excellent. So now that we know how much power Colin doesn't have over 20 years, quite a few horses have escaped, about 35. Um, I think it'd be rude for us not to try and do a 0 to 60 run and see how close we can get to the official figure. To find out, I headed to a smooth and straight bit of road that I know very well. To make things fair, I'd do four runs up and down to see how close I could get to the official mid five second time. Here we go. Build up the revs, three and a half thousand RPM, four thousand, and drop the clutch. Go, 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 come on! Put it flat to the floor. Good, that was clean. Yes, 60. Oh, that felt pretty good. 
I didn't feel bad at all. Three and a half. Drop the clutch. Go, go, go. Bit of a scrabble again. Foot flat to the floor. 7,000 RPM. Let's go. 60. That felt pretty good again. Go, go, go. Put flat to the floor. Little bit of a scrabble. Come on! 60. Yes! Good. Right, so I'm going to make this the best launch ever recorded on YouTube. Ever. I'm going to get it up to 3,000 RPM and drop the clutch. Go, 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 go. Yeah! Come on! 60. I'm hot, I'm sweating. Yeah! I'm happy with that. And I genuinely think I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say six seconds dead. Also, the damper at the rear here is a little bit buggered. So when I'm trying to get off the line, it's a little bit squirrely. So I'm not putting down 100% of the power, probably about 95, 96%, but I need to get that sorted. Let's go find out the time. Officially, this car should be doing anywhere between about 5.2 to 5.7 seconds. So let's take an average of about, I don't know, 5.5 seconds stock from the factory 20 years ago. Yeah. Hit me. Right, join your average first. Uh, okay, okay. okay. Average, 6.2. No, yeah. no. Your quickest run, oh. your last run. Yeah. 5.96. 5.9. Oh, I said I said six seconds. I'm quite I'm quite happy with that. I thought six seconds. It felt felt pretty good. And I reckon with a good service, um, fixing this um, uh, shock absorber as well. I reckon I'll have a 5.7 second car to 60, not a quarter mile. But I'll take that. <laughs> Bye. Don't forget guys, at the end of every Living With An E36 M3 episode, we're giving away £150 worth of BOTB credit. This week's winner is... Oscar Taylor! To win £150 worth of BOTB credit, make sure you check the video description below. Because BMWs, they are built like brick houses. The engines go for pretty much ever. This is on 96,000 miles and it is Sweet as a gnat. That's like a London thing for awesome. Yeah, mate, sweet as a gnat. Yeah, how was he not out, mate? Sweet as a gnat, mate. You know, I went home with Deborah. Oh, she's sweet as a gnat. That's what this car is. This car is a Deborah.